Hey, it's Mandy from Beauty on a Budget, and today we're on video two of... Hold on, my kids are passing. Go, guys. <laughs> we're on video two of losing weight on a budget. I apologize. Today I have to film on my iPad because my um, batteries on my camera are doing something funny that it's not working right. Also, I think I picked something up at Christmas with my eye. Hopefully not pink eye. Eh, gross, I know. TMI. There's another kid. Okay. Anyway, today we're going to talk about um, keeping a food diary. Um, that's a very easy and important way to stay on your diet. Um, so you know what you you know you know what's going in your mouth. You know how many calories you're getting. Even if you're not counting calories, it shows you what you're eating. Because a lot of times I think we eat things we don't even think about it. We just put it in our mouth and it's just we don't even think about it. It's a habit. Um, but I actually read on WebMD that keeping a food diary will increase your chances of losing weight. No, let's see. Let me read the word this right. Well, um, they lost twice as much weight when they kept a food diary as when they didn't. And there we go again with a kid running past. Maybe this isn't a great place to film. So be it. Anyway, how can we do that for free? Um, I know there's like Weight Watchers online and stuff that will help you do that, but you don't even have to do that. That's expensive. Um, I used to, when I first started dieting after my second son, my first son, I would write everything down. And then I would calculate how many calories was in it. At the end, I'd have to sit down and do math. Anyway, I found an easier way, and you guys might already know about this, but it's, um, it's called MyFitnessPro, no, MyFitnessPal. Dot com. You can do it on their website, or you can get an app for iOS or Android. And it's basically, you can search what you ate, click on it, and add it to your diary. Tell it how much you've eaten. Oh, my glasses are crooked. And um, it's free, so that's awesome. Um, I will give you a little tour of it if you're not familiar with it, so you can see exactly what it does do. It's pretty neat, and like I said, it's free. And if it doubles your chances of losing weight, you can lose twice as much weight. Why not do it? I just have to be disciplined in making sure that I write down everything I have. If my kids have the iPad or the Kindle, I have to do it on the computer, wait my turn. But I think it's worth the effort. Like I said, it's free. We can do this, right? Okay, so here's my Kindle, and this is my Fitness Pal app. Uh, Kindle runs on Android, so this is the Android version. It's going to be a little bit different than the iOS version. Um, this is your front page. Um, after you have signed in, they will ask you questions like how much you weigh, how much you want to weigh, your timeline, how tall you are, etc., etc. And they will help you determine how many calories a day that you need to be eating. So this tells me I still have that many calories in my day. And to add to the food diary, we click add to diary. And we can add to breakfast. And this is listing things that I have put in previously, recently, but if you had something different, you can search for the food. Let's say I had a Greek yogurt. Sorry, it's a little shaky. It's hard to do. Okay, so I typed in Greek yogurt, and I can search. And as you see, the database has a lot of the different name brands. Um, already in here. If it's not in here, you can add it yourself. Um, let's say that I had Chobani. And it shows you there. Whoa. No fat. Nice. So, the servings is looks like one thing. So let's say that I had one serving. We hit add up in the corner. And it is added to my breakfast. And as you see at the top, it tells how much I have had so far on my food, how much exercise, how many calories I've burned, and then how many calories I have remaining. So it keeps, this is really convenient. It's better than having to write it down and get your calculator and figure it all out. So um, this is kind of cool too because you can weigh in every week. You can weigh in and it will show you how much you have lost. You can see it in chart form. Let's look at mine. There. This is over the three months I have lost eight pounds. Well, I lost 10 and then gained two back. So that's kind of cool. You can keep track of your progress. And another cool feature of this is you can add friends and watch as they lose weight and encourage each other. 
like, let's see, my friend, if she lost weight, which I don't see her weigh in, I can uh, comment and say, like, way to go, girl, or something like that. Um, if you need, you know, you can um, get your Facebook friends on there. Um, you guys can add me if you want. I My um, username is AL Nyheiser 6 and that's an old picture of my son, Jack. Uh, let's see, what else? This is kind of cool because if you happen to have um, one of these little thingies, Fitbit, where it keeps track of what exercise you've done, then you can kind of um, use this app in conjunction with it. But I'm on a budget, remember? I'm not spending any extra money. All I have is this lovely free app, which is very, very nice for a free app. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. Um, good luck with losing weight. Let me know how you're doing. Um, this week was hard for me because my, my husband didn't help. He bought a an Edwards caramel like turtle pie. And I kind of got into it, but that's okay, right? We can still lose weight. Um, have you been doing the challenge that I had on the last video? Me neither. We're going to have to figure something out when it comes to exercise. I don't like jumping jacks. <laughs> Um, oh, I wanted to leave with a quick quote. I read this in a magazine. It was from Gazelle Bujin, but I knew I was going to butcher her name. Anyway, she's the model. Sorry, Gazelle. But I thought it was a really wise quote. It, she said, be kind. Everyone is facing battles or something along those lines. I'm sorry if that's not a, exactly what she said, but it makes sense if you think about it. You don't know what people are going through. That that cashier at the store that's really nasty and she's driving you nuts, you don't know. I mean, she may be abused at home, emotionally or physically abused. She may be, you know, one of her loved ones may have just died. She may be having some personal problems. You don't know. I mean, your smile and your kind word may be like the only thing that helps her get through her day. So my admonition to you all is to be kind. You don't know what people are going through. Um, even you know, to people, your friends, your family, people you don't know, even on YouTube. Be kind. People are going through a lot of crap. And you don't need to add to it. <laughs> anyway, like I said, that's all from me today. And I'll see you next time.